Welcome back to my channel everyone. I'm Monique, the work from home mogul, and today I'm gonna come back at you with some exciting Poshmark app features for the end of 2023 that you should be using. And my special guest today is Nervesa. What? What's happening? What's going on? Ah! I'm back at you with some Poshmark tips because it's my favorite app, but I am also a small business owner. I have a hair growth, holistic hair care, yoga program. I am a reseller, a Poshmark ambassador too, and a content creator. And all the things that you need to do to run a business, I teach you on this channel. So make sure to stick around. We'll be right back. It's been a couple weeks since my last video because I moved and I'm still figuring out the lighting setup video situation in this place. You know I'm a fan of natural light because it's free, it's easy to set up, it's cost effective for your energy bill, good for the environment. There's not much natural light in this place so we'll see what happens. I'm thinking about a ring light. It's in my Amazon wish list if you should be so inclined and you'd like more videos from me faster, go ahead and take a look at that. In the meantime, I'm gonna talk about Poshmark. If you follow me for Poshmark tips, this is gonna be a good one, lighting aside. When I moved last time, I sold 72 items in five weeks. This time that I moved, I did not do that. So I had a lot of bins to move that I'm still organizing. Since it is coming up on the end of the year with the holidays, I think it's a good time to do an after move sale and utilize Poshmark shows. And I will have a video about that. I do have a goal. We'll see what happens. If you're interested in that, leave a comment below. By the way, this jacket is on my Poshmark closet. It's also for sale. There are a lot of Posh Live app features that have been included after the last Posh Fest 2023 and Hackathon. It's gonna be even more of a focus and just like a lot of other social media apps, the new features is what they want you to use, what they will be focusing on and promoting. If you want the algorithm to favor you, you need to figure it out. Doesn't mean that it won't go away later if it's not profitable for the company but the fact that they've doubled down so much just tells me it's not going anywhere anytime soon. But FYI, some of the things that did go somewhere are three of the Poshmark locations. Unfortunately, they were trying to open up more markets around the world. They gave notice on October 19th that they would be closing down the headquarters on October 26th. Not so great for the rest of the world. But here in the US, I can assume that Poshmark is here to stay. Obviously never make one platform the sole part of your business because you never know where it could go since you don't own it. But do invest time into learning some of the features that they are promoting and Poshmark Live is one of them. What I like about the new feature of the Poshmark Live, how they're having the sell together shows in the evening where anybody can be a part of it you can share your items to the Poshmark Live show individually. Unfortunately, not in the bulk sharing feature app like all the other parties that happen four times a day. Before, when you were trying to sell together on other people's Poshmark shows, you had to get in to the person's show, communicate with them, share your item to their bundle, do a comment to bump it when they were ready to add your stuff to their tray, it was very, very time consuming. You never know who they were gonna pick. You had to be on a timeline. You had to actually be in the show to live auction it. Otherwise it would just get skipped or maybe even removed from the tray. Just a lot of moving parts. And some people had some success with it just being in the tray and some people just seeing it even if they were off doing other things. But a lot of people, myself included, being glued to the telephone or maybe even taking a lower bid on it just because of the adrenaline of not trying to miss out was detrimental. Okay, that's a little dramatic, not detrimental, but definitely not profitable or like productive for the amount of time. These posh 
sell together live sh community shows that they're doing in the evening around nine o'clock Eastern time, right between the seven o'clock and the 10 o'clock, which I think is good for us East Coast timers. That's like if you're already on your phone sharing to those things, you might get picked to have your stuff in and you don't have to be glued to your phone to get any benefit out of it. The feature that I was most excited about was the dual shipping labels or multiple shipping labels or bundles. But the reason why I was so excited is because if you've been following me for a while, you know that I have some stuff at my mom's house and I have some stuff with me and they cannot be bundled together. And it could be a nightmare if someone's going through my closet immediately buying or sending an offer without asking any questions or reading the description. So I thought, oh great, this dual shipping label would be perfect for my bundles. Stuff is in two different places. However, that's not how it works. This bundle feature is for posh shows. If people buy a whole bunch of stuff, when you have heavy shipping, you have to pay extra, like up to $22 extra, which comes out of the seller's pocket, which is not that great if you're selling stuff for $5 bids. If you have multiple boxes that can be seven pounds or under, you can purchase additional shipping labels and it's not gonna cost you as much as if you put everything into one box. If you're a live seller and you're excited about this feature, please comment below. At the end of this year or early next year, the AI feature rolling out where you will take a picture of the front and back of your item, the label, and then AI will generate the text description, auto-populate sizing for your listing. Taking the technology from Posh Lens or Google Lens, but actually just taking the text in it towards your listing so you don't have to go outside the app and copy and paste. As long as it will tell us to verify in case something is wrong, what we don't wanna do is just someone buys something and it says it's a size six, but really it's a size two, and then they're just gonna send it back. I love that this can help us to get things done faster. We're gonna be talking about, oh, back in my day, when I started in 2014, I had to write down everything with a measuring tape, and now you could just, with the click of a button, take three pictures, and you're golden. Google Lens is definitely way better than Posh Lens, especially since we can't copy and paste any text from inside the Poshmark app, which if they were really listening to the features that we wanted, I think that would be one of them. What are some of the features you wish that you would see on Poshmark? Comment below. So it is time for us to really get into knowing how to use these new features, especially if you haven't already been doing any live shows. There are contests every day, almost, winning money for hosting a live show or buying something from a live show. They're really pushing it, they want us to use it, and so at this point, we just have to like follow the herd. Now let's hear from Nervesa. Oh my God. All right, Nervesa, what do you think about this new AI feature listing for us? I'm gonna do it. Okay. What do you think about bidding on posh shows or selling items and taking bids on your items in posh shows. I've got $5 in here on the line. Anything that you're not nervous about, Nervessa? What should, should I buy, should I sell? Thanks for joining us once again. Thank you, Work From Home Bodies, for being supportive of my channel. Make sure that you like and share with a friend. And make sure that you watch an upcoming video with more Poshmark tips or other tips on my channel if you own or want to start a business. Have a great day, bye. See you next time. It's not going anywhere anytime soon.